Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Welcome to my channel. I have a great Outlook video for you today. I'm going to compare three different ways that you can send an email message later. And in case you're wondering why would I want to do that, we have people working in different time zones. I don't want to be in Eastern time in Atlanta, sending an email to someone in San Diego, California at 830 in the morning because it's 530 AM there. Uh, also, I could go across the uh, Atlantic. I don't want to be sending emails at four o'clock because it's nine o'clock there. The third example is a lot of people work on the weekends, but I don't want to be sending emails out on the weekend. I'd rather them get there Monday morning when I know the person is going to arrive sort of at the top of their inbox. So let's go ahead and dive into these three different methods right now. First of all, the three methods are delay delivery. Method two is schedule send. And method three is using Microsoft Viva. I'm going to run through all three. I'm going to tell you my favorite. I'm also going to tell you one that I absolutely can't stand. Let's go ahead and start off with the one I can't stand. Let me pop over into Outlook on the desktop. I have Outlook desktop running. In case you're saying, Chris, your desktop looks slightly different than mine. That is true. They are slowly moving the commands, email, calendar, people that were in the bottom left. They are moving them up here to run vertically. So I'm going to do a new email message. I'm going to email my friend Christian. Today is Saturday. I don't want to send this to Christian on a Saturday. He's probably, he's probably working, but I'm going to assume he's not working. Here is delay delivery. Start of the new email message. Go to Options tab, select Delay Delivery under the More Options group. It is already checked. Do not deliver before. It picks today's date. I'm going to say the 6. Christian is five hours ahead of me. I just happen to know that. So I'm going to deliver this at 4 a.m. my time, which will be 9 a.m. his time on Monday morning. Close. Go ahead and hit send. I'm going to show you exactly where this is located. So delay delivery, send. It will stay in your outbox. Two reasons, by the way, it does work. It has been around for years, delay delivery. Two reasons I do not like it. One, it is a lot of clicks to get to it. New mail message, options, delay delivery, pick the date, pick the time, hit send and then it sits in your outbox. Reason number two, this only works on the desktop. You must leave Outlook running and your computer running for this to actually go out. So now I can't shut my computer down and restart it on Monday morning. I got to leave this running until all of this goes out. So that's another reason. Those are the two reasons I don't like it. Option number two is one of my absolute favorite features in Outlook, and I use this every day, all the time, schedule send. You do not do this from the Outlook desktop. You do this from Outlook on the web, which is also one of my favorite apps. Just so you know, I'm not going to do it, but it says try the new Outlook. I have a Microsoft 365 beta running on my personal computer. If I was to turn this on, Outlook would shut down and restart, and it would look completely different as the desktop version, and this schedule send would be there. So it is coming to the desktop. I don't know when. Let's use it right now with Outlook on the web. I have my email running. I'm on Outlook on the web. New mail message. You could pop this out, by the way, if you want to. You don't have to. I'm going to just type in Christian. I usually just stay right here. I'm going to call this test two. Click down here. I want to send this Monday morning. Well, instead of clicking on the send icon, just hit the drop down. Schedule send. Tomorrow morning, Sunday morning, custom time. So I like that it's already given me possible options. Watch this. I'm going to pick the six. And I'm going to send this again. Christian's five hours ahead of me. So I'm going to send this at 530. Change that. Sorry. I'm going to send this at 430. Hit send. 
sending. I'm going to talk about this feature too. This is a bonus tip that is called undo send. And now the question is, where do these stay? If I come over here to the far left-hand pane, I got drafts. I've been playing with this already, but this is that schedule send message right here. If I click on it, I could come in here and tweak this. I could come send it now. I could delete it, whatever I want to do. I just sent Christian one schedule send, but watch this when I do another one. So I'm sending him another email. Watch how smart this is. It's smart enough to remember the last time I picked for him. So there I go. I don't have to come to custom time and hit send again. And there we go. One more time. Where does that land? It's landing over here on the far left in my drafts. So there we are. One of my favorite Outlook features, schedule send. Also, I can close Outlook. I can close my computer. Those are sitting on the Microsoft 365 server. They will go out with my computer being on. One of the reasons I love that. And the last item is called Microsoft Viva Insights. In case you're wondering what in the world is that, let me just type in Viva into a quick search. It is a Microsoft app. It does a lot more besides telling you when to send emails. It will come in here, and this is only for people that have a Microsoft 365 business account or enterprise account. E3, E5 accounts, I have a Microsoft business standard account that I pay $12.50 a month, the user for. So that is why I have this. What's cool is it actually tells me, hey, in the past week, you attended X number of meetings and you were on time for 95% of those meetings. It tells me people that I meet with most frequently. So it's just got a lot of great information for me. It'll tell me you probably should start scheduling some more uh, time for yourself for planning and that type of stuff. So anyway, here I go with insights. This works, Viva Insights works on both the desktop and Outlook on the web. So it already works on both. I'm gonna pop into Carol's email and do a new email. Carol's going to send me an email. Carol's going to send Christian an email. Let's try this one. That is Viva Insights that you're seeing right there. Send this email during most recipients' work hours. Schedule send. You can even come in here on the schedule send and tell it when to send it. I'm going to go ahead and do a schedule send. Edit. And look, Viva Insights is running right here. This is where you can come and tell it when to send it. In case you're wondering, what's the big difference between the Insights versus the Schedule Send that I love so much? The Schedule Send, I kind of need to know when people work. But most of the time I do, because mostly it's coworkers I'm sending stuff to. If I was sending something to a customer, again, I'll be sending it on a Monday, not on a Saturday. Viva Insights for your company knows when people's scheduled work hours are. They know what time zones they're located. So it has given you possibly, it's giving you great suggestions based on their availability and what they have set up in their outlook. That's one reason I actually love this a lot. One other tip for you, if your schedule send is not working with Viva Insights, if you come right here to your settings, this is where I have told Viva Insights, schedule, send suggestions. Also, this is, this is actually major compared to delayed delivery again, where you got to leave your computer on with Viva Insights. It's telling you right here, you can close Outlook and it's still going to go. You can close your Outlook, you can close your computer. It'll still go very similar to the schedule send. One bonus tip for you. Let me pop over into my Outlook on the web. You know that I love Schedule Send. My only issue with Schedule Send is when I click this drop down, it's right next to Send. So what I encourage you to do, and this is again, another Outlook on the web feature that I just love, come up here to settings in the right. And I want you to just type in undo and the feature is called undo send. When you click this, I have mine already set for five seconds. The default though is zero seconds. So I'm gonna hit save. 
Now I'm going to do it again. I'm going to make mine five seconds. You can also go up to 10 seconds. For me, five seconds is enough. I'm going to hit save. Close. Carol Wilson. Test, test. Watch this. It's going to show up at the very bottom of my screen. This is the undo send feature. Sending. Nope. Undo. One more time. I'm sending it. Nope. Didn't mean to send it. Undo. That has bailed me out plenty of times. So in case I forget to hit schedule send or I'm not really ready to send this, just do your undo send. That will be coming. If I was to turn on, try the new Outlook and turn this on, again, it would close and relaunch. That will be part of this new Outlook. I have no clue again when it's coming. I'm going to take a guess at 2024. Not too far away, but it is a great feature when you turn this on. I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, went a little long on it, but I wanted to go into detail about delayed delivery, schedule send, and Viva Insights which one they work with, whether it's desktop or both. And feel free to ring the bell, subscribe. Any comments or questions, please put them in the comments down below. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much.